Okay, so far. We have got textures inside the lift. Now you want them inside inside the lift elevator, basically. Um, what's happened there? Okay. That's weird, but... When watching the rest of the tutorials, you should be knowing what's going on now. So, as you can see, they're exactly the same. Now what we need to do is we need to create the panels. Oops. Oh no, I wasn't wrong. You don't need to delete them. Sorry about that guys. The doors are meant to close here. Huh. That was just me being a bit silly. So we've got the doors closing. Right, we need to make it so when we press a button, it actually works. So what we need to do, is we can make them interactive inside and we can get a close up view. So, we click in between, and you click new slide, and we get a new slide up, okay. So all we need to do is now make a close up of the panels. So we need to know what the wall looks like and we're using that texture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a background basically. We're gonna do full we can do format background, so oops, so let's not do a shape, let's do right click, background, and then we click on the little arrow, then fill effects. And choose the texture and then we've got that as our background so now that background is basically a really close up of the wall and we can have if you want I mean in America it'd be like this you can have a little directory thing next to the button now this is optional you can have both of the both the circle and the square in fu function sorry and or just one of them in function so you can click on any one you like. Much easier. Um, but it takes longer to make. Okay, so we can have four floors. So we'll just copy and paste all of this. Say we have four floors in this instance. Oh, well, maybe three. Oh yeah, we can fit four in. Okay, let's go for four. Get it all lined up, doesn't really matter that much. Get it lined up the best you can. When you've done that, drag that one up a bit. And that. Okay, once you've done that, what we want to do now, is we want to make these, when you click them, we want to make them um, ugly. So what we can do, is we can do action settings what you do is you right click action settings and you can turn that into a hyperlink basically um we want a hyperlink what we want it to do really is when we click it we want it to turn into we want it to light up basically so we can hyperlink it to the next slide um let's we'll hyperlink it to the slide that we let's cancel it a second hang on a minute make another slide or make a few slides for each one four slides okay so we've got four slides now so what we're going to do now is basically what we want to do is just um do the action settings thing again well we're going to hyperlink number one to next slide we'll say 
which will be slide seven. And then box circle number two, can action settings, can be hyperlink two. So you scroll down, click slide, and then we do slide eight. And then the next one, action settings, hyperlink two, slide nine. And then the last one, action settings, hyperlink to slide 10. Simple. So we've got to do the exact same on all of these now. And then after that, what we're going to do is we'll actually, we'll do that now, we'll add text. So just drag the text box over, and you can do any font you like. You can even do word art. I'm going to do word art in this instance here. Um, so the fire one because it looks pretty cool. We'll do your one. Cool two. Maybe I could do this. Could you? Oops. Yeah, that's a way to do it. Okay, what you do, guys, is you get the word up. So do two and three. You get the word up, and what you do is you put the number in two spaces, then type, and then I'm oh, sorry, one space. Um, so you have a space in between them. So you go four, enter, enter. But it'll be two and three, so you do two, enter, enter, three. Enter, enter, then four. You can do all of them at the same time, really. Just best to have one slightly bigger, so let's do number four now. Whoops, I moved the box again. Okay. So there we are. We've got our numbers now. We want them to light up. What we do, we copy slide. That's going to be slide seven. Now we can delete slide eight. I've been watching. Stop it, love, love. Just a second, Dad, I'm recording. Mm. The only reason we made all these new slides, guys, is so that um, the um, PowerPoint allows us to. Um, put the um it's powerpoint allows us to hyperlink it to that um slide because if it's not there it won't let us okay just checked how long we've been going on um right this is going to be for one so we've got to light that up um we're working on the boxes, the circles at the moment, guys. We'll work on the boxes later. Um, we need to change that box so it's filled in. So you just click the fill tool and it'll fill it red. Or whatever colour you want. You can have them all different colours, that's what I think. Just think of something more realistic, really. Or you can have a halo around the outside, which basically all you do is on this one, you just do. To make a halo, you can just do a box like that around the outside. And make it no fill the format auto shape and then we go down to no fill and we, all we can do is on there we just make another one of those boxes but make it slightly thicker and change the color weight really high and there you go the halo lights up where it used to be red see it sort of lights up in the area but I'm not going to do that in this instance all you do is basically make the halo around the outside then put another one in the middle of 
the box, the circle, and the one around the outside. Okay, on the next tutorial we're going to do two, three, four, and we're going to start on doing the boxes. And, bye.